Hello survivors and welcome to my video in identifying red flags during hostage holdups. Whether or not a player is buying time for a daring rescue. Well, we can't really have that happening now, can we? Unfortunately, when you're taking someone hostage, you gotta get a little mean. And you gotta take control. If you don't have control over scenario, then ultimately you will die. And in this scenario, there was very little control. I kept it. It's a it's a it's a good hold up, but uh, the fact that the hostage doesn't want to listen or anything, well, you'll see. If a player doesn't want to cooperate with you, that means he has something up his sleeve. This video will be a prime example. We will review the video at the end. Don't move. Don't move or you die. Hands up now. Do it now. Put your fucking hands up now or you die. Do you understand? Hands up. Now. You have three seconds. Or you die. F2. Hit F2 now or you die. Good. Get up. Stand up. Talk. You do talk, do you? Walk outside the walls. Start talking, because if you are communicating to your friends, you died now. Start talking. Last one, you are about to die. Start talking. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I hear you now. Count in, right. count in direct chat, okay, one, two, three, I'll now. Now. Count now what? One, two, count three, count one two three and loop it. Go outside the walls now. Go outside the wall. And count. Let's go. Start walking. Which way? The way you came in from. Which way? The way you came in from. Start counting. Alright. You could just be one, two, three. Say it like I can hear it, man. If you are talking to your friends, you're not getting that chance. Start no, counting. No. no, I don't have any friends. You know, that's what you, one, you two, realize that's what every single person says, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. You can trust me, I don't... I'm the loner on here. Yeah, it looked like you were alone. Just drop the Mosin on the ground by this tree. You have to drop your hands. Just drop the Mosin. Right, hang on. Hit F2, drop the Mosin. You do anything else, you die. You'll come back for it eventually. Come on. You are taking way too much time. Hit F2, drop it. Hit F2, drop your hands, then you could drop the weapon. I'm patient, man. As you can tell, uh, as you can tell, I must be. As you can tell, you're, you're. Well, hell, I just, I just, I just hit F2. Hang on. You're playing stupid with me, man. I'm patient, but nah, not that swear, patient. Is my hands, is, <laughs> is my hands still up? For real? Yeah. Now you're bullshitting. Hit F2. I swear, dude. Okay. You've treated me stupid uh, enough long dude, enough. My... You die. 
Now you're probably thinking, Sobi, that's terrible, you killed him. That was a perfect example of buying time. Like, I, I let him go with so many things, like the background audio, <coughs> him not wanting to count. When people are silent, it's not because they're shy to talk. It's because they're too busy talking to someone else. And uh, when he was delaying me by that tree that he couldn't put down his hands, it was pretty obvious. In about two minutes, I left this area as quickly as possible because I'm expecting company. In about two minutes, company arrived. I got back to my old overwatch position, and this guy was moving in, in less than two minutes. So if I did actually try to drag out that holdup with that guy, with him walking with his hands up, this guy could have easily came in and rescued him. But see, this player that I'm watching, this heavily armed player on the outskirts of Northwest Airfield, this one was a bit of strange. He put about one or three shots towards air, the airfield, and he never advanced. Now, obviously, he's not shooting zombies, because why would you bother? So, was he shooting that dude's friend? Or somebody else? Or is this actually his friend that he was uh, buying time for? Unfortunately, I'll probably never know. But, let's go over and review the red flags for the scenario, and I'll tell you what I was thinking. Originally, whenever I hold up players, most often enough, they talk in the first, like, 10, 5, 10 seconds. There's a little bit of fear in, like, the first, like, 5 seconds, and then a, a player might freak out, run, or do something else. But most often, and this is with almost all hostages, they talk back. Everybody know. a lot of people know the hold-up key, F2, so it's pretty common. I mean, this guy knew it, too. He wasn't talking. That puts me on edge. When a player doesn't respond or do anything, I mean, heck, even typing gives me some type of response. If a player doesn't respond, what basically goes through my mind is the fact that he's, uh, yeah, Joey, I'm by the two industrial hangars. Yeah, there's a guy holding me up. Like, he had a whole minute to actually relay his location to any of his friends. Thus the problem. And the fact that he didn't want to count. There's a reasoning that I force people to count and loop it. You can he if people do a normal pattern, you'll know for sure that they are ta that he's talking to you and he's focused on you. If he doesn't know what to do, he's distracted. Again, more than likely distracted by his friends so there is actually a system involved in forcing people to count is it unpleasant yeah but it's not it shouldn't be embarrassing or anything it just actually forces the uh, hostage to actually cooperate with the captor instead of using this secretive third-party VIP to give away a captors location unfortunately and the final flag was simply at the end. Since when he basically says that the F2 key is broken, that is honestly the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I've never heard of this problem ever, that people cannot put down their hands. This was the most obvious re way to buy time, to act stupid. And a lot of people do this. A lot of people think, a lot of people take advantage of another person's being humanity or being very nice. Well, it doesn't work that way. I'm going to get killed by whoever is on that airfield. And this guy is simply just buying time for his friend or maybe any other player that might be arriving in the area. So, he has to be dispatched. Honestly, like, like I... I I gave him enough chances, but once you give a person too many chances, you just got to pull the trigger. And that, my friends, is how holdups, or how to identify the red flags in holdups. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time.